。像李安伦这样在美国长大的华裔孩子，学习成绩特别好，也许不算稀罕。能在亚利桑那州的高中篮球冠军队打上主力，听起来更不一般。我小的时候都是一天到晚看篮球赛，我爸爸妈妈都是运动人，所以我也是很喜欢运动。只要不是出差在外，李安伦的父亲李黎每场必到。儿子表现出色，父亲自然兴奋。儿子也有足够的理由为父亲感到骄傲。我很骄傲，我爸爸，因为他是不不容易从中国。到美国，然后在这里做的那么好。呃，我知道他是全世界，呃，很好一个教练，然后特别他，也，跑步。我今天跑个二十多分钟就回来。李黎目前担任亚利桑那大学田径队副总教练，负责中长跑和越野项目。他在沙漠城市图森已经生活了六年。你看这地方又特别安静，没有人。像这样小路上可以，你要跑二十公里都没问题，轻松。沙漠地带土质松软，既可以缓解对关节的冲击，也有利于强化腿部肌肉。李黎经常带着这些大学生运动员到沙漠中训练。迪伦接受他的指导已经有三年时间。Coach Lee really emphasizes, you know, more quality miles over quantity of miles. So we do faster miles rather than more miles, which I think is it's worked pretty well for me. 马莎跟着李黎训练了两年半，他的成绩可谓突飞猛进。He showed me how to do it right, how to do the training, and make my body be able to handle it. And um, I changed from 20 seconds off my mile and over two minutes on my 5K. These awards are enough to prove Li Li's professional record. In all kinds of trials, there is one thing that makes her very special. Li Li has a bachelor's degree. In the United States, there is a bachelor's degree in professional athletics. I think it will be between 5% to 10% of the time. 成都人李黎是运动员出身，他一九八五年来美国求学，一九九三年从华盛顿州立大学取得博士学位。我的这个博士学位是主要是体育和教育的管理。在美国的二十多年时间里，李黎从来没有离开过校园，他先后在明尼苏达州立大学和华盛顿州立大学做教练。两千零二年，他来到亚利桑那大学执教。从这个运动方面来讲的话，呃，至少在过去的十几年，在美国所有的大学里边，能够有相当于这个前十到十五名左右的水平的学校。总体与中国不同，美国不存在由政府支持、以争取奥运金牌为核心的专业运动员培养机制。高校在很大程度上肩负着人才培养和训练基地的使命。从田径这个角度讲，这是绝对是至关重要。要没有这个大学这个体育大学田径队的话，在美国这个田径水平不可以想象。That's good. I want you to keep jogging. All right, go ahead. 除了专业训练，李黎的职责还包括到美国乃至其他国家的中学招生，寻找好苗子。He listens to the athlete. He's not a coach that necessarily sets out, you know, and says this is the plan for the year. He's constantly changing up things to, you know, benefit what's going to work best for the athlete. 大学生运动员们需要花大量时间和精力参加训练和比赛，与此同时还要保证课程学习与其他学生同步。美国的大学体育机制既能将他们培养成高水平的运动员，也让他们成为合格的专业人才。I think that it takes a type of kid that has a lot of determination. They're motivated. They're disciplined. They know how to set their priorities, and、um, I think it sets them up to be the best they can be in life and whatever they do, if they can get through being a student athlete at a university. Three minutes. Even for you. 
，顶尖运动员也从大学脱颖而出。伯纳德·拉加特就是李黎调教出来的中长跑世界冠军。拉加特来自肯尼亚，一九九六年到华盛顿州立大学念书，那年他二十岁。到现在，他已经跟着李黎训练了十二年。李黎换工作，拉加特也一路随行。We are friends, athlete and a coach, and you know what? He's always the man that I respect, and he respects me. And I think our relationship is very strong. We train hard, and I think Coach Lee is the man who knows what he does. 拉加特的生活并不像苦行僧。妻子格莱迪斯和刚两岁的儿子米卡会陪着他一起到田径场。儿子当然具备体育基因，但成为长跑选手的可能性不大。Kim says golfing. Golfing is easier, way more money. She's the next Tiger Woods. 李黎和拉加特一家的关系亲密无间。Give a kiss. Ah, 最最基本的是一种相互信任，然后沟通啊，非常好的这种这种 communication. Forty-five two. That's perfect. Just like that. 拉加特的主项是一千五百米，在李黎的指导下，他的成绩提高了近十一秒。我们找到了一种训练他的最好的路子啊，这方面就是说从训练。啊，整个训练的手段，整个训练的这个这个体系都特别适合于他。So, you know, I mean, it is faster. It's forty-four.、Um, 李黎并不认为自己掌握着点石成金的诀窍。他和拉加特一起，经过长期细致的工作，才逐步提高运动成绩。其实他头两年。大学生冠军都没有得到的，他他你像第一年也就是大学生比赛得个第四名啊，像那样子，然后慢慢一年一年往上走。经过了四年多的努力，拉加特成为世界一流的职业田径选手。他代表肯尼亚参加了两千年悉尼和两千零四年雅典奥运会的一千五百米比赛，分别夺取铜牌和银牌。A hundred and twenty meters to go. El Garouche powering his arms. Here comes Lagat. 两千零四年，拉加特成为美国公民。那以后，他为美国赢得了一系列的荣誉。Bernard Lagat running his second fastest fifteen hundred meters ever. Only one other person other than El Garouche. 真是一生在能够有机会。有另外一个运动员有他这种的这种天赋的话，从身体上和心理上的各方面这种天赋的话，那我就会太太太太幸运了。在两千零七年八月，日本大阪举行的世界田径锦标赛上，三十一岁的拉加特获得了一千五百米冠军。四天以后，他一鼓作气又夺得了五千米的冠军。李黎给他制定的战略取得了成功。I was feeling like you know in control because my coach told me not to not to burn my kick because my coach told me to go gradually, gradually and feeling relaxed. That was the most important message he gave me today. And I was feeling relaxed coming into the 100 meters, coming into the 50 meters, and I just wanted to just win. And you know, I wanted to win so bad, like everybody else wanted to win so bad, and I got it today. So I was really pleased with my run. 一个运动员同时获得了一千五百米和五千米两个项目的冠军，这在田径运动史上还是第一次。李黎也因此获得了两千零七年美国最佳田径教练的荣誉。OK， now nice and relaxed. Three more. 眼下，师徒两人一点也没有放松，他们正全力备战今年夏天的北京奥运会。The focus right now is on one event. That's the 1500. I have the silver and I have the bronze, so I need to get the best one in、uh, in Beijing. So, looking forward to the big challenge in Beijing. 拉加特也打算同时报名参加五千米的比赛。Forty-three two. 跟他同场竞技的选手绝大多数都会比他年轻。I can compete. 
I know how to compete in those events. And I think with the time that I've been able to run out there, you know, having the 12 years of with Coach Lee, I think that helps me be different from the others. 除了指导拉加特比赛，李黎在北京奥运会上还有一项重要的任务，他将担任美国田径队的领队。我的角色呢，就是说协调这个整个田径队，运动员、教练，啊，在这个啊，嗯，奥运会期间的的基本上是一切的活动。<音>